I was looking at over under win totals last night and I was very surprised that Seattle only has a projected win total of seven and a half and I was so shocked at how low the win total is because in my opinion under a new head coach Mike McDonald I think that Seattle is good enough to win anywhere between 9 to 12 games and possibly win the NFC West. And why I feel this confident about Seattle going into this year is for one, their biggest problem last season wasn't Geno Smith. A lot of Seahawks fans will tell you that Geno Smith needs to be replaced, but he's a really serviceable starter. The problem is that Seattle's defense was not good last year and their defense hasn't been good since the early 2010s when they had Cam Chancellor, Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas. It's been a very long time since the Seahawks had a really good defense and what was so surprising about how bad Seattle's defense has been the last couple of years is the fact that they're not bad because they don't have a lot of talent on that side of the ball. As a matter of fact, they have one of the most talented defenses in the league. It's been that way for the last two years. The problem is that they haven't had a coach who can maximize that talent. Well, you're getting that in Mike McDonald. And this dude is supposed to be the Sean McVay of defensive-minded coaches. When he was the defensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens last year in 2023, they were the best defense when it came to points per game allowed, only allowing 16 points a game. They were fourth in yards per game allowed. They were six against the pass. They were 12th against the run. And they were six in takeaways. And one thing that really had me impressed about the way Baltimore's defense played under Mike McDonald is that under his play calling, they shut down three of the NFL's top five offenses last year. They held the Detroit Lions to six points. The 49ers on Christmas Day, Brock Purdy and Kyle Shanahan, they got rattled against Mike McDonald's defense. And the Miami Dolphins, the Ravens took them to pound town. With the talent that Seattle already has on defense, you got a stacked defensive line. You have multiple guys who can get after the quarterback. You're going to have a pretty good secondary. Devon Witherspoon is an absolute stud. You got Julian Love at safety. Seattle's defense should be probably the most improved in the league going into the upcoming season. You go from a bottom of the barrel defense to a defense that is good enough to slow down these Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay offenses. And that's why I have a good amount of confidence that Seattle not only is going to be a lock to make it to the postseason this year, but I would not be surprised if they win the NFC West this year. It definitely is possible. The 49ers, I think they're due for a little bit of a regression season this year, especially with the uncertainty surrounding Brandon Ayuk. The LA Rams are still going to be a force. They definitely could win this division. But with you having a generational defensive mind at the helm at head coach, it's going to bring a little bit of a different flavor to a league that now is starting to pivot more heavily towards offensive minded coaches. How do you find a way to counteract these innovative offensive minds, especially when you have two of the best offensive minds in the last decade in the same division. Well, you bring in a defensive-minded coach who is just as good as what these offensive minds are, but on the other end of the ball. Pete Carroll is going to be a future Hall of Famer. Nobody's going to deny how good he's been as the head coach in Seattle the last couple of years that he's been here, but we can't deny this defense has not been good for half a decade, and it was time for a change. Offensively, Seattle is more than equipped to be able to handle their own and put points up on the scoreboard. What held Seattle back, I'm going to say it once again, last season, Geno Smith was not the problem. Is he an elite quarterback? No, he's not. But he definitely isn't one of the worst quarterbacks in the league. If you were to rank Geno Smith from you know where he ranks 
I probably will put him top 16, top 15 ish. He throws a really good deep ball. He's really accurate, especially when he gets in rhythm. The offensive line is the biggest Achilles heel for Seattle. And like their defense has been bad for the last couple of years, so has this offensive line. Right tackle Abraham Lucas missed the good majority of last year he's going to be coming back fully healthy you have some concerns at center is a Lulu Timmy really going to be the guy who can hold down the fork at that position or somebody going to end up starting over him there's some concerns in that old line they have to figure out you get offensive coordinator Ryan Grubbs at the helm calling plays he comes from the University of Washington I think that he's going to be a perfect pairing for Geno Smith because if you watch UW last year, what did the Huskies do better than any other team in college football? Throw the deep ball really effectively, especially outside of the numbers. And if you've been following Geno Smith, you would know that he happens to be one of the most accurate deep ball throwers in the league. This is going to be an offense that it's going to be predicated a lot off shotgun. It is going to have a little bit of a college influence, but I don't see Ryan Grubbs as one of these coordinators that's just really good in college and he's not going to pan out at the NFL level because he's really smart. He's really good at adjusting and game. And Mike McDonald has assembled a really good staff and with how good this defense should be under him, and how capable this offense is with how good they are at wide receiver, especially at running back too. You got Zach Charbonnet, who I think have a breakout season. We know how good Kenneth Walker is. As long as you can get decent offensive line play, Seattle, there's no way they should miss the playoffs this year. If they don't get to nine wins, that would be a massive disappointment. If you're a Seahawks fan, Mike McDonald should be able to come in here and fix what has held your team back for over half a decade. And that's been your lackluster play on defense. The talent's there. They don't really need to go through a rebuild. This is a team that is equipped to make it to the playoffs and maybe win a wild card round game. If they, you know, get that home field playoff game that you get from winning the division. But even if they don't win this division, they still, at best, can make it as far as the divisional round. In terms of where I ranked the Mike McDonald higher, I had every head coaching higher and tiers. Tier three was coaches that I didn't think were going to succeed. Tier two were coaches that I didn't really know about. And tier one were the coaches that I felt without a doubt were going to be grand slam hires. And those were Jim Harbaugh and Mike McDonald. With how good the Ravens defense was because of Mike McDonald, he throws a lot of different fronts at you. It's really easy for his players to understand. Not only is he a really good defensive mind, but he's just a really good coach in terms of coaching his guys up, helping them learn on the fly. He's everything that you want in a modern day defensive minded head coach. And the good thing about the NFL being so offensive minded is that when you have guys like Mike McDonald who can come in and bring in a game changing defense to slow down these Kyle Shanahan's and Sean McVay it gives you the leg up I still believe that defense wins championships we seen that in the Super Bowl the 49ers defense couldn't stop Patrick Mahomes when it mattered the most if you want to be able to win in the postseason you gotta have a defense that's capable of being able to get off the field and stop these elite quarterbacks and Mike McDonald is the kind of defense in mind who's good enough to get that done. The Ravens defense showed up in the AFC championship but their offense got left in the locker room and he probably was the best assistant coach in the NFL. If my memory serves me correctly, he was the NFL's assistant coach of the year. This isn't one of those hires that you should just gloss over. I'm really surprised that Seattle isn't favored to win more games this year because to me, they're a lock to win no less than nine and they have the possibility of having the upside to be a 11, 12 win team 
and possibly take home the NFC West title this year. So you shouldn't be sleeping on the Seattle Seahawks. This defense is good enough to be an elite unit under Mike McDonald year one. And this offense has more than enough talent to be effective this season.